there's a lot of heart to this story. There's a lot of John Kramer feeling taken advantage of. There's a lot of John, you, you learn more about John Kramer in this movie than you have in the entire franchise. This kind of sets up why John Kramer became Jigsaw and what he is trying to accomplish. John Kramer has cancer. John Kramer meets with his doctor, has an, M an MRI. It's not good. The doctor tells him he has a very limited time to live. John Kramer's found out that there's an experimental, uh, out of the country process that you can, they're, they're having great success with. He goes to Mexico City where they're hosting this, this, this surgery. He goes and does it and he finds out that it's a fraud. We originally wrote the script or worked with the writers that wrote the script because we, we don't write it, but uh, Amanda wasn't really in it. And then we kind of realized that Tobin's 80 years old. People would look at it, how's John Kramer doing all the stuff that he's doing? And we realized we needed to bring in somebody. I think it was then that Oren came up with the idea of like, why don't we make the person who's disguised, why don't we make that Shawnee in the, the script? And then we'll reveal it at some point during the movie. And the audience eats it up when they realize that that's who was doing all the stuff. Something that was really shocking to Mark and I is either Saw 2 or Saw 3 were at Comic-Con. And now we've really got a lot of momentum. They've made the room bigger every time and the walls keep flying out. And people, we, Mark and I were on the dais and they were talking and they kept talking about the hero and the protagonist and the hero. And we never really looked at it like he was a hero, but he was a hero to people. And not because he's a murderer, not because he's, you know, whether John Wick's a hero, whether, you know I mean? So, but it really kind of changed, at least for me personally, and I know I've been, you know, Mark and I've talked about it, how we looked at, at Jigsaw or John Kramer. And, but they talked about the hero, the protagonist, and it really got us. So that was, a, for me, a big change of the way we thought about the films. Saw X was directed by Kevin Greitert, who directed two previous Saw movies and basically has edited pretty much all of them. He knows the franchise better or as well as Orrin and myself, if not better. And uh, he was our first and only choice to direct this movie. The traps you see in most of the movies are John trying, they're, they're John's traps. And this is John is so devastated by the news and by what happens that he's actually making traps uh, that for them. These are their these are their traps because what they did to him personally. Whether you're the anesthesiologist, whether you're the doctor, whether you're the the person that's housing you for this scam, and I think he makes them very personal. And the other thing we tried to I think the traps started getting over the top, and one of the things we we really looked at is is bringing the traps down in scale and size to where you could basically, you know, everything you need to make these traps is in Home Depot. We really did this movie for the fans. We really tried to pay them back for the loyalty and the fans that have been there since Saw 1. And that's why there's a little, there's the Easter eggs, there's throwbacks to other, we just really tried to say, you've asked for this movie, we're making this for you. And, and to me, the most rewarding experience is when you see the movie finished opening weekend with an audience and they're jumping at the right places, they're laughing at the right places, they care. You're like, okay, guess what? Yeah, this was all worthwhile.